Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Tapshi Tech and Reviews. Uh, so today it's another unboxing video. So today I'll be unboxing uh, this package. It's a little damaged though. That's fine. Uh, from Flipkart I ordered this. Uh, so it's called um, uh, it's called Fine One uh, Cleaning Kit. Uh, it's from a brand uh, they have given as GLV. Uh, GLV Fine One Cleaning Kit. I mainly bought it for cleaning my keyboard uh, because currently my keyboard is something like this. So this is a keyboard. Uh, it might look uh, very clean from far, but when you clo go closer, so there is a lot of dust in between. Uh, so that's the exact reason I bought this uh, kit. So mainly, basically, what I'll be doing is uh, I'll be removing each keys and you know then clean uh, the underneath part. Hopefully I'll be able to remove, I suppose, I'm not sure, this is the first time I'm doing that. I hope I don't uh, break it. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's get in the video and uh, unbox this first and then, you know, um, try to clean this uh, with the tools which they have provided. So yeah, let's uh, get in the video. Please enjoy. So this is how the book uh, boxes arrived uh, so let's unbox this uh, before that let's see the price how much i've paid so this is what i ordered uh, so i paid around 100 rupees um, this was the cheapest i could get on uh, flipkart so currently it shows as 109 so it has a, a plucker and there should be a brush and some tools for uh, cleaning other things like uh, airpods earphones and all so they have provide some other tools also but i guess the brush and this plucker would be sufficient let's see let's unbox this one first box is a little damaged though so there is nothing else in the box so there is a this is a tool, nothing, no information from the outside, it's directly the tool which they are giving. So this is the plucker uh, which they have provided, uh, this we need to attach it here and you can use it as a brush and there are some other tools here, so there is just one tool. Uh, uh, it's mainly for cleaning uh, you know, your uh, airpods or some other earphones maybe so we'll not be using that i hope so this would be sufficient so yeah let's directly take this out and you know let's see if we can uh, clean our keyboard with this hope so i can let's see so this is the keyboard uh, let's see if we can you know uh, try to remove this control from here. I'm not quite sure this is the first time I'm doing it. Let's see. Oh, I hope so you can see all the dust that has been accumulated uh, you know between those keys. So let's try to remove the control key. Hopefully I don't break it. I tried to remove control a lot but I couldn't but finally uh, I tried to remove that I you know from the keys uh, it came out so here is the I so I has come out let's remove the other things so you'll be seeing some time lapse now so yeah so removed so much initially it was difficult later on you'll get used to and uh, make sure uh, you take a pick and you know keep it as a backup so that you can put all the keys back properly So currently we have removed so many keys and uh, you can see the you know the dust that has been accumulated here 
so what we'll do is we'll keep this keyboard down and you know continue with this and uh, so that the mat is clean so finally got tired and you know it was a little difficult to use this tool and take out the keys so finally started using my own hand and it was uh, quicker also using the hand just like this is that simple you actually don't need a tool and uh, the enter key is a little risky one so we'll have to use um, some tool to remove that uh, you know two things from those uh, corners and then take it out let's try so this is how it is uh, so many dust i know uh, it's accumulated here so let's clean this first and i believe uh, this thing uh, enter key is i know they have screwed it from below not quite sure but i tried a lot to remove it but i didn't want to break it so let's see after cleaning if it's possible to remove this so that we can see the whole skeleton you know uh, whole keyboard without the keys so let's see if that's possible So this is how much the dust was here inside this uh, keyboard. Now what we'll do is uh, we'll try to remove the back cover and see if we can uh, take out the enter key. Some somehow it's stuck there. I need to remove that as well. So let's see if that's possible. So there are two hidden screws. One is behind that, and one is behind this Zebronix logo. If you see closely, there are two screws behind the space bar. Um, so I'm going to remove this just to see the internal. So I was, uh, I was unnecessarily uh, pulling this key cap for enter key because there was actually a screw, you know, underneath this, which I had to remove first, and then uh, remove, take out the space bar. So there are two springs as well over here, if you can see. So what I'll do is, uh, so this is how it looks now. Let me clean a little bit better and uh, put everything back. So that's all I can do as part of cleaning. Now let's put everything back and uh, see if it's working. So created a layout of this all these keys now let's put this on the keyboard and finish this and after that let's end the video so mainly this tool was of not much use to be honest but we could do it uh, with our uh, bare hand itself only the enter key was a little tricky we had to remove the screws underneath uh, you know, the board we had to open it underneath and then remove the screws so yeah, let's put back everything and then end the video. And uh, before uh, putting everything back, I thought of doing one final cleaning uh, using this uh, cotton swabs. If you have this, you can use this cotton swab to you know clean between or uh, inside the slots, key slots, to to clean it properly. So yeah, let's do that quickly. Now let's put back the key. 
cleaned a little bit inside the slots key slots using this cotton swabs now let's put back the keys and uh, end this video So finally we have put all the keys back, it was a no, difficult task, not an easy one. So what I have to do next is I have put the space bar also, I need to be very careful with the space bar. Uh, now I need to screw this space bar as it is, you know, there is a screw behind this. So I have already put the space bar and uh, it's placed properly, so I need to put back the screw inside this and then put back all the screws back and finish this so yeah let me do that so finally everything is done I tried my best to clean this hope so everything is cleaned let's see if it's working or not I'm not sure if it will work now but let's see and thank God it's working so, and it's working no issues so yeah you have to be careful with this uh, space bar uh, it's not necessary all keyboard should be in uh, just use the tool and remove the keycap but uh, some keyboard will have a screw underneath only for the space bar it was screwed underneath this board um, so i had to i was trying really hard thank god i didn't break it and finally i could see there was some screw connection now uh, from the transparent portion of uh, portion over here so i just opened from behind and then i removed the screw and then it came out easily and the next thing is uh, i actually don't need any tool for this one it's actually very difficult to you know take out the keys with this some keys comes out easily but some key doesn't come uh, but don't take any risk you can try with your bare hand if it's possible then good or else yeah better buy a tool something like this and this is how it looks once everything is cleaned uh, you don't see any dust particles now it looks clean So yeah, I'll end the video here. So really tired uh, ending the video here guys. I hope you all uh, liked it and uh, hope it was of some use. If it was of some use, please do the like button, subscribe, comment. Let's catch you again next video. Thank you so much. Bye.